Neighbors protesting a Portland glass company suspected of putting out toxic levels of cadmium and arsenic into the air. At 5 o'clock, good evening everyone, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Tonight's protest comes just hours after a positive toxin test near a local daycare now. And we have team coverage tonight that starts with Tim Becker, who's live outside the Bullseye Get Glass Company, where protesters are taking their message to the streets. Tim? Well, the protesters are just starting to trickle in. They're expected to show up uh, with a little bit larger numbers here in the next hour. But some of them were here this morning asking Bullseye Glass to shut down operations here until they're sure toxic emissions are no longer being generated at the facility. I'm here to deliver a letter. This morning's group was small, just a handful of parents and kids led by Bill Crawford. So we are in the middle of a uh, environmental disaster health disaster in Portland. I share their concern, their frustration. Uh, we feel the same thing. Bullseye President uh, yeah. Dan Schwerer says he has nothing to hide. Uh, these are the glasses made with cadmium. Okay, the, red, the reds, oranges, yellows. He's offering neighbors a chance to tour the facility that he points out has always been in compliance with both OSHA and DEQ guidelines. I urge you to work towards the spirit of the law and not just what you're allowed to do. This has all hit us like it has you, like a ton of bricks. Schwerer told the neighbors he's working with an environmental consultant, engineers and the DEQ for guidance on how to move forward. The neighbor's letter to him asks the company to stop using materials that may negatively impact the health of people who live, work and play nearby. But not everyone here this morning agrees with the neighbor's cause. These people were here to support Bullseye. What do you, people are going to ask them to close their doors today. What do you think of that? I think those people are crazy. Bullseye Bullseye is a top-notch company. Stay in business, support our community. And we manufacture colored glass for art and architecture. Schwerer has already and stopped using cadmium, chromium, and arsenic and promises to install proper pollution control measures if need be. And you're, you're prepared to actually put those in place as soon as possible? Immediately, in fact? If, if that's what uh, the EQ uh, recommends it moving forward, absolutely. Hey, we want to. Well, we're still waiting to hear the DEQ's latest findings. Those are expected to be released sometime later this week. Whenever that happens, it won't be too soon for the protesters that are expected to show up here. Live in Southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin Six News. Okay.